All right. So today we're going to be talking about this guy right here. He is the brand new Metallic Force Mighty Morphin Red Ranger figure. Now, <clears throat> I probably am not going to take this one out of the package. Um, likely I'll find another one somewhere. Hopefully. Uh, I know this one will be one of the more sought after figures in the new Metallic Force line. Uh, not only does the line include the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, it also includes metallic versions of all the Mega Force Rangers as well as Robo Knight. Um, I guess let's take a little bit better look at him here. He kind of reminds me of the uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie figures, just because of his metallic appearance. Uh, of course, uh, this figure is much smaller and more articulated than those. Um, he does come with his his weapons. He's got his power sword and a blaster. Uh, I don't really understand why his weapons are all black because that's certainly not how they were in the show. I assume it's just a cost-cutting measure to uh, save on paint. He also comes with a Ranger card that is exclusive to the figure itself. And uh, his shade of metallic red is a little bit uh, a little bit darker than what the uh, red Mighty Morphin Ranger would normally look like. But I believe it's pretty passable here. Try to get a little more close up. He is pretty detailed, pretty show accurate. Though it's hard to tell right here, but on the uh, on his belt, he's uh, missing his holster for his blaster. But if it follows along, and it should, if it follows along with the Mega Force figures, his uh, his blaster here will have a little peg on it that just kind of clips into a, a hole here in his belt. Um, I would say that's probably the only real big in uh, what's the word inaccuracy. Easy for me to say uh, with the figure. The packaging is pretty cool. It's got the uh, the Mega Force logo at the top. Of course, it's got the sticker that tells us that you know there's a card inside. It's also got a sticker that tells us the figure is metallic because apparently the little cardboard insert did not do a justifiable job of that. And then uh, it's got the original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger logo as well as the 20th anniversary logo under the uh, picture of the Red Ranger here. Side panels aren't anything special, just basically tells us about the game, the card game. And then of course it advertises the Morpher and uh, the uh, cell phone app and everything like that for the card game. The back of the package not really anything exciting. It's actually the same backing that is on the standard figures. And it in fact features the uh, standard figures, which I think is kind of poor judgment on Bandai's part since the Metallic Force set is the new set of figures. I would think that you would want to advertise those because the uh, standard Mega Force figures have been out for for months now, so I would think you would want to advertise the new things. But uh, overall, I would, I guess, if I had to grade this figure, I would give it a, I would give it a four and a half out of five. I like it. I like the look of it. Um, 
it really the metallic aspect of it it's not too bright but uh, it's dull enough to kind of look like a uh, Christmas tree ornament but uh, you know as far as it actually being a good figure I would I would give it a four and a half out of five it looks pretty cool it's decent not the worst thing they have ever made um, I would actually like to see more Mighty Morphin stuff put out uh, this year but I don't think we're gonna get much of that uh, and it seems like with the Mighty Morphin stuff we have gotten the Red Ranger is the primary uh, character that they put out which I guess would just be due to the fact that he was the uh, original leader of the team but a Green Ranger figure would be pretty cool though especially a metallic one so anyway that's the metallic force Mighty Morphin Red Ranger figure pretty cool about all I got.